Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to use a serialized operator in a Kusto. So a serialized operator marks uh, that uh, the order of the input row set uh, is safe to use uh, for Windows functions. Uh, so we will be using uh, this uh, operator multiple times in the next videos as well. Uh, for, but for now, what we are going to do here, we are going to create our table and then use this uh, serialized oper operator to create the row numbers for our output records. Uh, so here I'm creating a a table called customer with customer ID and name and then inserting few records in that so let's do that and then we will take a look right here uh, if I will just select the table name and execute it's gonna return me all the rows and you can see that the customer ID have some gaps and also have some um, uh, duplicate values as well so ID 1 is used for Ahmed ID 1 is also used for Raza that's a kind of not a correct way to handle this type of situations and if we would like to add our row number give a unique number for each of the records that's possible so think about that uh, right now we are not going to use any uh, columns for uh, sorting and all that we are just going to add uh, the row number to the result set uh, so what you will do you will use uh, the pipe sign serialize and then provide the name of the column in this case i provide row number so you can um, whatever the name column name you want to give you can give it to it and then say equal to row underscore uh, number function so you are using this function to create uh, the uh, row numbers uh, with this uh, serialized operator so let's execute that uh, and now you can see that uh, we have created our row number for each of the record and it's a unique record uh, now what we can do further we can uh, go ahead and uh, sort uh, the name and then uh, use uh, the row number to create uh, the numbers as well uh, so let's see here i'm ordered by name ascending uh, so if i do that uh, let me execute and now what we are seeing here we are seeing uh, the record sorted by the name in previous videos i have shown you if you use uh, the sort operator uh, it work for capital or uh, uh, uppercase letters first uh, are sorted and then uh, they will be the small cases cases will be sorted at the end if you are using ascending uh, if you don't do ascending you just use as it is uh, then it's a uh, descending uh, and then it's going to sort uh, by descending order and uh, start with the uh, small uh, uh, cases uh, uh, characters right here so this will this is how it is uh. now what we can do let's uh, sort by ascending and also let's add the row number to it uh. Now we are getting all the records from the customer and we ordered by the name ascending and then we are adding the row number to it so you guys can see right there and still I'm not really satisfied because the armor is here and there is another armor but that's not really sorted because of the case sensitivity so I can do one thing I can change the name to the lower when I am sorting and then that's how it will sort uh, every value uh, with the same character set uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it so let's see right there if I execute uh, now as uh, we did the lowercase function for the name uh, it's converted every value to the lowercase and then sorted uh, now you can see this armor and this armor and armor test uh, they are coming in the uh, right sequence uh, now also I can add the row number to it once uh, this result set is a return I can uh, use a serialize and uh, add a new column equal to row number function uh, so then uh, we can go ahead and execute and now it is uh, adding a row number function uh, sorry a new column with the values one two three four five six so, so that's how we will use a serializer with the row number function to create the sequence number for our output result thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video